Hello everyone, I'm Jason, Principal Designer in Project Quantum, and welcome to this drop pod redesign talk through. A big motivation behind redesigning the drop pod was to put the design emphasis on extracting rather than just landing. The original design with the drill on the bottom was cool, but it made no practical sense. A seeker's purpose is to gather and then return, so any seeker drop pod needs to be able to make the return journey in a contextually friendly and logical way, not just for sticking the landing. For this reason we opted to move the large thruster to the bottom. It also gives a big reason as to why seekers would need the huge drop pod cannons of Jericho to get their pods to the ground in the first place. In the out trip they save fuel by being fired from a giant retrofitted railgun-esque machine and then the return is done by the drop pod itself. After some experimental designs, we also decided to take the arms of the drop pod, or as I like to refer to them as the bunny ears, reversible to facilitate takeoff from this thruster. We lent into this reversible principle as we believe it gives the drop pods a unique quality not typically seen in other instances of drop pods. In addition to being more practical, one of our goals for the new design was to add more ceremony to the extraction process. Rather than arbitrarily waiting for a numerical text timer to count down before you extract, now you have to nervously wait for your drop pod to transform itself. Animations and VFX can all be used to inform the player, and of course others, how close you are to extracting. This transformation gives us much more intuition, movement and action to play with during this time. Imagine desperately waiting for your drop pod to ready itself for flight while you fend off enemies, creatures, strap down your loot and take cover from encroaching gunfire. Another change was to convert our original three person design into a one person drop pod. We originally imagined that seeker squads would share drop pod, however this presented several problems in game regarding teammates being killed or wanting to leave before others. As a solution, seeker squads will now drop in clusters of individual pods. These slightly smaller drop pods can be accessed by that player whenever they personally want to extract, rectifying this potential problematic interaction. It also opens the door to a wider array of customization and aesthetic options further down the line. Lastly, although the huge drill bit on the bottom was certainly cool, ultimately we didn't like it as a silhouette. In a world where resources are scarce, it felt overly designed and wasteful. Moving to a smoother design felt more efficient and better reflected the world and the context surrounding it. We think it looks better too. We had some comments of uncertainty concerning the drop pod's functions surrounding the drill. Is it meant to stay there and never be moved again? Is it meant to be subterranean? Things we hadn't intended to elicit. Alas, pointy drill, you will be missed. Thank you all for taking the time to listen, and as always, happy scavenging seekers.